Hello, today I'm going to do a review on the Sabrent Rocket NVMe heatsink, which I'll be installing on my Samsung Evo 970 Plus SSD. So in the box, you get the manual. The NVMe heatsink, thermal pads, screwdriver, and some screws. And I will be testing that with my new Samsung 500 gig N70 Evo Plus NVMe drive. So, first things first, I will get that. Tested without the heatsink on. Check the temperatures. Show quickly how to install the heatsink and reinstall it and run another test. Okay, so I've installed the Samsung NVMe SSD. Just run a quick benchmark on Crystal Disk Mark version 8 with temperature monitoring on HW Info 64 version 7. The maximum temperature, drive temperature 1, which is the flash temperature, maximum is 58. And drive temperature 2, which is the controller temperature, maximum recorded temperature is 76 degrees. So I'll go ahead and remove the SSD, install the Rocket NVMe heatsink, and see what temperatures we get there and see if the speeds change as well. Okay, so I've got the Samsung 970 SSD removed from the computer. Uh, so I'm going to install it now. So the first thing to do is to remove the sticky tape from the underside. And as the Samsung is single sided, we have to use both thermal tapes. And apply these together. It's a bit tricky. And there is tape on, uh, sorry, covering on both sides of the tape. <coughs> then I need to line up the SSD. With the hole there at the bottom to install it into the motherboard. Then more sticky tape covers on the underside of the heatsink. If you can just see on the side there, there's screw holes that have to be aligned up, like so. And then it comes with four screws. to secure it into place. That is that. So I'll get this installed and see what the temperatures are like. So the tests are just finishing um, <coughs> with the Sabrent heatsink installed. Um, so the temperatures have dropped quite quite a bit. On the drive temperature number one, which is the flash temperature, 
maximum recorded temperature is 41 degrees Celsius. Compare that to the Samsung drive with no heatsink on, that was 58 degrees Celsius. So that's a 17 degree drop there. And on drive temperature 2, which is the controller temperature, maximum recorded is 54 degrees Celsius. That's with the Sabrent heatsink on. Um, on the previous test, with no heatsink, maximum recorded temperature was 76 degrees. So that's 22 uh, Celsius drop there. In terms of speed, the speeds are pretty much the same. Um, the Q1 T1 speeds have gone up ever so slightly by about 20 megasecond. Um, that's in read, in write, it's gone up about 10 megasecond. Um, everywhere else, the speeds are pretty much the same. So that's a nice 17 degrees Celsius drop on the flash temperatures and 22 degrees Celsius drop on the controller temperature maximum recorded. Average recorded temperature, drive temperature 1 is 35 um, and on drive temperature 2 it's 45 degrees Celsius. On the Samsung drive without the heatsink on, um, drive temperature 1 average was 47 so that's 8 degrees Celsius drop there and drive temperature 2 average with no heat sink was 60 so that's 15 degree Celsius drop on that as well so all in all it's quite a decent temperature drop really for the rocket heat sink which cost about 20 pounds from Amazon okay so that just about wraps up the video um, this is my review and installation video for the Sabrent rocket NVMe heat sink it's cost about £20 from uh, Amazon. It took about 10 minutes to install. Um, as you can see from the video, installation was pretty simple. The only thing that wasn't simple, which I think they could improve on, is uh, including a magnetic uh, screwdriver. This one that's included is not magnetic, um, so it does get a bit tricky when you're trying to install the heatsink. Um, well, the SSD with the heatsink on in the computer, the uh, little screw keeps falling out. Um, so just to summarise then, temperatures dropped 22 degrees Celsius on the controller and 17 degrees Celsius on the flash temperature. Thank you very much for watching, bye.